Hello there, good morning viewers. Hope you're having a fantastic time. It's Marling here and today on this Minecraft bedrock tutorial, I'm going to be showing you a very simple yet also very easy to build zero tick farm. Yes, and it is on the 1.16 update. So it is a zero tick farm that is going to work flawlessly on your Minecraft bedrock world. It may also work on Java, I don't know, but as for Bedrock, it is guaranteed 100 out of 100 that it is going to work. This is one module of the entire farm and you can build more of these, I mean as many as you want. And well, for every module that you make, each module is going to get you 1080 sugarcane drops per hour. So yeah, if you make 5 of them, then you're going to end up with 5000 per hour. If you make 10 of them, then you're going to end up with 10,000 per hour. The item list for one module of the farm is 2 chests, 2 hoppers, 2 sticky pistons, 4 pistons, 1 redstone repeater, 2 redstone torches, 9 redstone dust, 2 trapdoors, any type of them you want, and then 2 sugar canes, 2 water sources, then 6 blocks of sand, and then 14 building blocks and 14 glass blocks and this is for the module and as for the other ones that are over here 14 glass blocks and one lever it is for the entire farm so if you're going to make two modules then you're going to need twice as much of the items over here but this won't increase this is going to be constant so yeah over here i have made three modules of the farm and as you can see there are three of them over here and in for three so this farm is going to get you 3000 drops per hour but as i've said earlier if you make it even higher i mean even bigger than this one then the drop rate is going to be even higher than that firstly start off by placing six blocks just like this over here and after that place one more block just like this over here there will be gaps so yeah, I mean you get the point over how it is expanding. If you wanted to make one more module, then you had to increase it like this, and one more, then you had to increase it like this. But anyways, we are going to be making three modules of the farm. After that, what you're going to do is place a temporary block over here, one block above, one block beside, and one block beneath it, and then remove this one, and also do the same thing for this one as well, and this one as well, just like such. After that what you're going to do is place a block over here and then one block over here and one block over here and then remove this block and repeat the same thing for the others as well just like such as you can see and you're going to end up with something like this. Anyways after that what you're going to do is get yourself three redstone repeaters going inside just like that all will be at the first tick and yeah don't mess it up it has to be at the first tick otherwise the farm will not work. After that, get yourself 6 redstone dust over here, and then 3 redstone dust over here, and 3 right over here, just like that. After that, what you are going to do is get yourself a placeholding block right over here, and then one block beside it, just like such. And then do the same thing for this one as well, and then get yourself a redstone torch over here. One over here one over here and one over here 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 just like that after that what you're going to do is get yourself a lever and then just place the lever over here and just press it and the farm i mean the redstone circuit will stop after that place a block above it just like such and then extend it by two and then just connect the entire thing up and there is one block over here so there's going to be another block over here just like that after that what you're going to do is get yourself redstone dust over here just like such as you can see just fill the entire thing up with redstone dust after that what you are going to do is grab yourself pistons and the normal pistons so one two three four five and six pistons over there and then from here two blocks gap on this one on the on the second one over here one over here one over here 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 and there just like such you are going to end up with something like this and then what you're going to do is 
come over here at the right at the exact bottom and then one placeholding block and one block beside it remove the placeholding block just like such and then extend it for the entire areas where there are pistons so there is one piston over there so one block over here and just extend it all the way till here as there is a piston over there anyways after that place a one placeholding block and then a normal piston going upwards just like uh, such as you can see and then remove the placeholding block and then also get yourself some more pistons right over here one over there one over there one over there there and there just like that six of them and then get yourself redstone that's in these gaps and then get yourself more redstone in these six blocks over here just like that as you can see after that in the next step you are going to get one sand over here and then two sands right over here and then remove this sand and then just two more for all the six pistons that you have and then a placeholding block block beneath it remove the placeholding block and then extend it for all the pistons that you have and then just get yourself more sand over here so six over here and 12 over here in total 18 after that what you are going to do is just over here it gets very simple so from here it, you just cover the entire farm so six over there and then six over here you cannot place chests and then a hopper beneath above it and then facing it towards because in that way the farm breaks down so what you are going to do is get yourself chests and hoppers and then a placeholding block and then a chest over here just like that and then get yourself six chests just like that as you can see and then get yourself hoppers going inside that chest just like that you cannot place yourself some more chests over here because if you do that then the farm will break a lot it will break a lot but if you don't then the farm will break a lot less than previously so it's a win-win anyways after that get yourself more glass so it can be any type of glass I am using black glass because it just looks so cool anyways after that get yourself some more blocks right over here just like that as you can see after that what you are going to do is get yourself a placeholding block over here and then one block above it and also remove the placeholding block and then one block beside it and one block over here and then remove the corner block you don't need the corner block it's, it's completely waste and then just get yourself the same thing over here as well after that what you are going to do is get yourself water so right over here let me get the water and then six water sources over here just like such and then what you're going to do is just close the entire farm so that no sugarcane can leak out so over two over there six over here two over here just like such after that what you're going to do is get yourself over here two more of them and also two more of them all right over here just like such and then get yourself a six glass blocks right over here and then a placeholding block and then a block above it block beside it remove this block and keep that block and also get yourself another layer over here just like that and then over here just connect the entire thing after that what you are going to do is get yourself trap doors and you cannot uh, add glasses over here because sometimes there is a very small chance, very extremely small chance that the farm will break but don't worry because after that what you can just do is get yourself some trap doors and then just open it and then fix it right away and for that is the glass so that you can see where the problem has occurred so yeah after that what you are going to do is pretty simple get yourself the sugar cane come at top open these trap doors and then just place one over there one sugar cane there one over there one there one over there and one over there and then close the trap doors you have to close them otherwise there will be sugar canes leaking out of the farm anyways you can also avoid getting yourself glasses over here but i advise you to take it i mean get it but anyways what you can also do is this one is way cheaper than the previous method is get yourself a placeholding block over here one block beside it remove the placeholding block 
and then get yourself six more right over here i advise you to use this method but you can also use that method as well whichever fits you right but i advise you to use this one anyways once the farm is complete you can just come back right over here place on i mean press on this lever and the farm will start working anytime now there is going to be a sugarcane popping up just like that as you can see and ending up in your test right over there and over there i don't know why some of them ended up over there i don't know why but anyway that's it for the tutorial hope you guys enjoy the tutorial hope this helps and do all the youtube things because that will really support my small channel <laughs>